morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're having a good morning. It's a little warmer today. We're approaching 50 degrees. In fact, it's around 48 right now. I've got two layers on, so I should be okay. But yeah, have a little bit of coffee, get my day started. Hope you have a something to get your day started. Luna's having a good day. She uh, had a walk and, and she found an extra ball. She has two balls right now. That's usually one too many for her, but she still enjoys it. Hmm. Okay, so we talked about um, loss and how that can make you ignore a opportunity. We also talked a little bit about uh, windfalls. Let's talk a little bit about investing. Um, investing is a, a, a tough mental discipline. Uh, not many people are really good at it because there are so many different conditions. There's not really an X and Y and then this just works out. Um, Warren Buffett, who is one of the greatest investors of the last 80 years, has uh, remarked that if you're the best thing to do is just slowly put your money into um, uh, what's called equity funds, S&P 500 funds that are just pegged to the general stocks out there. Which is, if you're not going to spend a good amount of time in that uh, thinking about stuff, it's pretty good. Oh, by the way, a uh, caveat to all this, I am not a financial advisor and I'm not certified as a financial advisor. Just my opinion on stuff. So, the problem with windfalls is when you get them, you might get them when the stock market is really hot. So, if you stick all your money in, the stock market is really high, and then it goes down. Problem is, you don't know when the stock market's high. Nobody does. Uh, but here's a couple of things that um, I remarked from the Chicken Genius. Uh, he's a financial guy from Singapore. He's actually a pretty smart young man. Uh, there are two things to keep in mind when you're thinking about investing. One is uh, how uh, dollar cost averaging. And this means slowly moving your money from cash into whatever you want it to be in. And being careful of uh, the Fed. The Fed controls a huge amount of the uh, equity in uh, the stock market. It's, um, if the Fed green lights that life is good, then investing is good. If the Fed says, uh, I need to increase interest rates and pull stuff out, then stay out of the stock market. That's basically the summary of the Fed. So, uh, equity investment, the Fed, are the two key factors when you're thinking about large-scale investing. Now let's talk about the the two other things. One is long term. You can't new cycles cause increases and decreases in stock prices and you can't predict them and they're usually they hit at the heart of the loss stuff. 
try to scare you as much as possible, even if it doesn't make any sense. It, it, fear news makes more people interested than happy news. So, yeah, they try to scare people away from good investments. It's, I don't think they're trying to be negative. I don't think they're trying to be bad people. It's just that it gets more people to see it if they can do that. So, equity, Fed, don't trust the news as much. Do your own research. And there are two ways of investing in equity. I tend to invest in equity, but I like to invest in targeted in the in equity. And again, this is not I'm not a financial advisor. I I do it for fun. Uh I do it for work dreams. I buy, I buy dreams with my small amount that I have in uh, saved. And if you can't enjoy things, even in investment, you should be able to enjoy things. And, uh, you know, it's like Luna's got two balls right now, and she's enjoying them. But, you know, she hasn't been over to have me throw anything. Because she can't figure out how to take those two balls and put them up here for me to, to grab and throw to her. So she's looking at me right now like, what are you talking about me for? Because <laughs> you have too many balls. You're balancing too much. You're not enjoying your life. Because you're trying to hold on to your two balls. Anyway. <clears throat> I... Um, Right now, I'm targeting uh, uh, equity funds that are doing uh, automation. Uh, two reasons for that. One is I'm hopeful that a lot of horrible jobs can be taken over by uh, machines. And then we can save a lot of lives and a lot of people who have perpetual illness and suffering, bad backs and stuff like that through automation. The other thing about automation is I think it will allow us to have like a few people and be able to do a lot of work because they'll be able to uh, direct the automation to do a lot of things. So I see it as an expansion of <coughs> the world around us. And I think it's also at the time where we're getting to the point where we can do that. We're getting uh, our software smart enough to where it can figure out how to uh, maneuver around in our environment and change things and realize when it's in trouble and ask for help. I think it's that time. So. Oh, and demographics. I'm getting older. I am classically considered a baby boomer, even though <clears throat> I usually hang out with Gen Xers and enjoy their company more. But if you look at the, the actual dates, I'm supposed to be a uh, baby boomer. And we're the largest of the generations. And then the Gen Xers get smaller, then the millennials pop up because most of the millennials, all oh, my, my, oh, my kids are millennials. So Gen Xers have kids, so we have a lot of millennials. Then you have what we're calling Zoomers now, and that's a smaller cadre of people. And we're not having a lot of kids. So Automation would help um, our children have um, more of what we enjoy because they'll have labor that they can use to really 
do a lot of stuff. Anyway, so uh, is that enough rambling for today? So there we go. I just wanted to close off the uh, boss and games by saying, here's what I do. And again, this is my personal opinion. If you want to spend a lot of time, you might want to uh, investigate uh, investing. But if you don't want to spend a lot of time, equity, dollar cost averaging, we go up dollar cost averaging, and there's, there's a lot of really nice charts and videos to explain it. But dollar cost average into your equity investment. And then don't fight the Fed. Don't fight the Fed. No matter how many pe people tell you, oh, it's okay, the Fed's being negative and slowing down the economy. We can still make money. No, get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, hopefully, Luna will eventually lose one of those two balls so that she can enjoy life instead of <laughs> worrying about her two balls. <laughs> And I'll talk to you soon.